Hey uh, Elsmik, uh, this is the recording for the peer talk for uh, the subject uh, modern languages, um, learning of modern languages. And um, we record this on the uh, 20th of February in 2023. And the P-Talk uh, takes place uh, between uh, Claudia Veenstra and Piroska Kerkes. Yep. Let's begin. Oh, uh, well, the topic is digital learning in primary schools as, as a way to support the education that's taking place. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Um, we agree on uh, a lot of things uh, about this topic, <laughs> so it's not really a discussion, but rather a uh, brainstorming session. Um, and uh, we agree on it that uh, the importance uh, of it is the how, the when and which aspects of the digital world uh, we should enter in our current education system. Yeah. Well, to start with, uh, I mean, it's primary school, so it's yeah. children between 4 and 12. Yeah. You start at the bottom with the little people. How, how, uh, how do you use digital learning with those little people? Do you uh, sing or, or show them on your phone things or how do you, how do, you do that? No, in, uh, in the Waldorf uh, school where I uh, give lessons, we don't have digital tools in the kindergarten uh, classrooms. I have my cell phone um, well uh, with me um and the children see me with my cell phone uh, at least once a day i suppose and i guess and that's when uh, i check the messages uh, to mm. see if anything important uh, will be or is communicated with me um, from the parents uh, side of for the from the school board side Okay, well, they, they are used to that. I mean, uh, they yeah, have mummies and daddies who do yeah. the, the same all day. Yeah. So and once or twice, twice is, is, is acceptable. Doable. <laughs> yeah. And um, we also take some pictures uh, from time to time in the classroom. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's when the children also see me with my cell phone. Um, um, and the, 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 the purpose of that is uh, that we would like to share uh, our education system uh, with the parents uh, uh, of nowadays. You're giving a little insight in what's going on inside, on that day. Yeah, and that, uh, that, uh, that is very much appreciated uh, mm -hmm. from the parent side. So that, uh, that gives uh, us, uh, our school and parents, an extra uh, dimension uh, in our uh, contact of school and uh, communication. Uh, communication. Yeah. 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 But more digital tools we don't use, and I don't see it coming, although it is a compulsory uh, part of the Dutch education system from, uh, from next year. Yeah. Uh, I don't think that the world of education uh, in the kindergarten um, will go for it. <laughs> will go for it, or I don't see... Uh, no TikTok films? No TikTok films, no, no, no. no. <laughs> and also... Um, well, no, no music plays. Uh, no. no, we stay at the physical word yeah. and uh, the the physical instruments uh, instead of uh, music uh, via the cell phone. No, no, I don't think so. Ma, but I, uh, I'm very much uh, interested uh, how it will be implemented from uh, grade one, no. and in grade two and three. And you have experience with grade, uh, two. grade two and, and, and four, four yep. last uh, years. Well, in, in, in uh, what did you uh, meet already in the classroom? And what do you think uh, it will be more to see the coming years? I don't know. Basically, what I've seen in, in the one, two, three is no digital, no digital learning, no, no digital boards there. Uh, they are uh, taking the math test uh, physically, so in, in a little booklet, mm -hmm. and uh, I have to put them into the computer manually and whatever. So that's a, that's a big uh, roundabout. But um, in class four, in grade four, there is a digital board, and I've taught uh, Dutch there 
Mm -hmm. And one of the things I've noticed is that um, uh, a boy in my in my class who is um, has big trouble with reading mm -hmm. um, enjoyed the animation of style. That's the method we use. And with him, I saw also, uh, he saw the light at some point. Mm -hmm. He saw, oh, that's the rule. Oh my God! And that is something that I, as a teacher, couldn't give him. Mm -hmm. That is. Uh, additional um, uh, support, support. Uh, visual support for him yeah. and that made it uh, much easier to talk about that rule I, I can't remember I thought it was a taxi word or something but it made it m much easier for him to understand mm -hmm. what, what was it all about mm -hmm. and um, I've taught math on on the board um, I, I, I've used it in a math problem um, they looked up things. Um, it's it's very handy because, you know, it's 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 out there for the whole class to see. It's uh, it could support. I can imagine in in the third grade that um, you can prepare uh, children to uh, a place that we are going next week with all the parents and all the cars and going physically to that place or what it should look like. But on the other hand, I see the other side of it and you have to choose your uh, little films uh, very, carefully. very carefully. You have to feel that responsibility of what will I show you and what will I not. Mm -hmm. Because you don't want to interfere with that first experience with hands on uh, discovering mm -hmm. how a, a mm -hmm. cow is milked. Of course, you can you can uh, show it on a film, but. It does. It doesn't compare with the mm -hmm. real thing, of course. And um, they're huge. Those, those cows. You can't. You can't do that visual. Mm -hmm. So it has their um, uh, limitations, and it has uh, also advantages. And it's up to us teachers to look at the responsibilities and uh, the disadvantages and the advantages, and then choose what we're going to let them see. Mm -hmm. And if you talk about the uh, small films, uh, what do you think uh, uh, as pre percentages? Uh, what do you uh, uh, would show in your education? How much is it uh, digital and how much is it physical? And uh, one oh, that will uh, be very, very, very little, yeah. especially now in the beginning when the resistance is high, especially with parents, not with the school or whatever, but with the, the parents mm -hmm. are the, the the worst basically but um and they don't see what they're doing at home so mm -hmm. they, they, it should be nothing at, at school and everything at home that that yeah, is a, dis, a discrepancy bit, uh, yeah. that that, that is uh, well. yeah exactly yeah. so we have to do it and um i think the um the the difference between what you show and what you don't show and, and, and making conscious decisions about that is um, every year you have to look at the class again with can I show this to you or mm -hmm. not and I think that's a delicate um, diffusion between the class and between you of what I showed last year mm -hmm. Is not going to be for this class. I'm going to be more careful, or mm -hmm. I'm going to be more mm -hmm. robust, or I'm going to show more because this class is really a, a moving yeah. Yeah. class or whatever. So it's it's again it's the same with all the other subjects that we're going to teach. It's taking responsibility and taking the time mm -hmm. to look at different um, views and and. Um, and be very conscious uh, and very conscious of what, what you you're do going to show you, as uh, introduction. Yeah. But I don't think it's a, it's a very large uh, piece of education in the in the future at the Waldorf schools. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. You used the word uh, introduction. Uh, do you think that it's uh, only will be used as introduction or uh, for the in upcoming years? Yeah, or in so. higher classes, uh, maybe you can give a lesson about uh, ancient history, uh, pure uh, pure uh, digitally. Or is it uh, always you know, will be uh, only a small part of uh, our education? I, think, I, 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 I don't I mean. know. I mean, you are in the Waldorf schools. There's always going to be head, hand, mm -hmm. and uh, hearts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> 
So it, you can't just do head all the time. Yeah. You have to get started with your hands and your heart. And of mm. course, you can you can you can feel something with a movie, or you can experience something with that. But it's um, you have to go to the other yeah. areas as well. Yeah. So I think that's that's on the on the other hand, that's the safety belt of the Waldorf School mm -hmm. that it it can't go too far mm -hmm. because you have to do the other sides as well. Yeah. Yeah, I think okay. that's my opinion. What do you think? Well, I agree uh, <laughs> with you, and that's yep. the, that's a nice uh, side of the world of education. The three uh, uh, components of uh, head, heart, and uh, your hands uh, that keeps uh, the balance uh, of our education system. And, and as we see, uh, yeah, yeah. And, and, and as we see, the digital tools come only as a support of uh, yeah. uh, of the uh, head. Uh, comportement. It can help. And it can help, yeah. So, we agree. We agree. So, and we go for it. We agree. <laughs> Hi.